Now, Trump, um, oh, God, I hate saying his name. The Orange Vomit did have a comment on his toy um, uh, social media uh, thingy. He slammed the final report released by the J6 committee. Uh, He did so Thursday night. He called the report highly partisan (laughs) and accused the panel of engaging in a, all caps, witch hunt. Well, the highly partisan part, I uh, thoroughly agree with, only with a different definition from the one that the orange vomit is using here. Highly partisan in that the report represents uh, the facts, which Trump does not deal with, honesty, which Trump wouldn't know if it bit him on his ass, the truth, which is as foreign to Trump as decency is, um, the report also represented an absolute effort to expose this son of a bitch in order to save democracy in this country, which Trump disagrees with. So, yes, yes, I agree with the orange vomit. It was a highly partisan report. On the one side is truth, justice, and the American way, as we've been told it should be, not as the way it is, not quite yet. And on the other side, we have Trump, this criminal son of a bitch and all of his minions who cluster around him. I I don't know what attracts them. The stench? Is that what it is? You know, when you take your dog for a walk and the first thing the dog goes for is the excrement from some other dog that passed by maybe an hour or a day prior to your dog. You know what I'm talking about. That's what these people who cluster around Trump remind me of. They, they get that stench of, of, of decay and poison and, and disrespect for the Constitution and hatred of other people. And they're immediately attracted to it just like the family dog that goes immediately to a dung pile left by a different dog. I hate to put it in those terms, but that's exactly, exactly what it reminds me of. Anyway, in his uh, claim that it was a witch hunt, he also said this in his toy social media post late last night. He wrote, or whoever wrote for him, quote, the highly partisan, unselect committee report. Oh, do I, isn't that just so four-year-old? Unselect committee. Let me start again. The highly partisan, unselect committee report purposely fails to mention the failure of Pelosi to heed my recommendation for troops to be used in D.C., which is total Bullshit. First of all, that never happened. And secondly, the Speaker of the House does not have the authority to order troops anywhere. And I guess Trump doesn't realize that. But one thing that is really true, Trump knows that his minions out here in the unscrubbed masses, you know, us, that his followers out here have no goddamn idea what he's talking about. So they just eat it up. Yup, yup, Pelosi had the power to do that. Oh, my God. He also said that the unselect committee failed to show the peacefully and patriotically (laughs) words I you. He said that. (laughs) Patriotically. Oh, my God. The peacefully and patriotically words I used or study the reason for the protest. Election fraud. Witch hunt. Oh, my God. Whoo. Um, Now, the garbage that tumbled out of this son of a bitch's corrupted brain and onto his toy social media post appears to refer to claims from him and his allies in fascist party in Congress that he made orders to have National Guard troops ready before January 6th, which the former acting 
Defense Secretary Christopher Miller said never happened under oath before the J6 committee. Of course it didn't happen. But in Trump's sick brain, where the only thing that is real is what he conjures up in the moment. Well, I just thought those documents declassified. That's all it takes. That's where this shit comes from. So anyway, um, in addition to detailing what uh, the the J6 uh, committee chairman, Benny Thompson, characterized as, quote, the multiple multi-step effort devised and driven by Donald Trump to overturn the 2020 election and block the transfer of power, end quote, Benny Thompson. The report also outlines 11 legislative recommendations, which, which is what a committee like this is supposed to do. They take the testimony with this committee 18 months, um, hundreds and hundreds of witnesses, millions of pages of, of testimony. They, they do this, and then they recommend legislative um, action to prevent this from happening again, happening again. So the report outlines 11 legislative recommendations, including one that says the orange vomit, this pig bastard Trump, should be denied from ever holding office in the future under the 14th Amendment which declares, I'm pretty sure, that people who are engaged directly, indirectly, or even think about overthrowing the U.S. government should be denied any office, elected office in this country, with which I thoroughly agree. Now, um, I want to uh, quote a little bit um, from... There are all kinds of reports out, and and I'm sure you've heard so many of them. And I don't want to come across as unnecessarily repetitious or boring. But like I said a moment ago, I really feel compelled to um, include some of this in in the podcast. The uh, House Select Committee... Obviously, this uh, laid out this report. It's a damning case. It's over eight. What is it? Eight hundred forty-five pages, and the case is that this awful human being, Donald Trump, it, it showed his efforts to commit treason to overturn the twenty twenty election, which is what led to the violence at the U.S. Capitol. And the report documents Trump's actions for the record, and it's out there. Uh, potentially for criminal investigators like people under Jack Smith, the uh, special counsel who has been appointed to get to the bottom of so many of the crimes that this rat, rotten bastard has committed. Um, the committee referred Trump to the Justice Department on four criminal charges. I mean, this, this, is, this is unique in the history of this country. And... That was on Monday, and on Thursday, yesterday, the committee effectively showed its work for why it believes Trump is criminally liable for what he did. But to me, the most important thing is the recommendation that this orange bastard never be allowed to hold elective office again, anywhere, at any time. And of course, that was when he lashed out on his toy social media platform. But anyway, there's some key takeaways from the committee's final report. And CNN reported this late last night, early this morning. I'm going to borrow heavily from their report to share this with you. Um, First and foremost, the committee spared no words in laying blame for the violence on January 6th squarely on Trump, which is where it belongs. So after holding nine public hearings and releasing that summary report earlier this week, this final document, uh, according to people who have read it, I have not read it yet, but the final document reads like an indictment of Trump, which is what it should be. It explains his direct role 
his direct role in every facet of the plot to overturn the election that he lost. And the report draws a clear through line between Trump's election denialism and the violence that unfolded. And you've heard this a million times, and you might as well hear it a million and one from me, and that is, you know, Trump, way back in 2016, Trump was saying that if he were voted out of office, it would only be as a result of voter fraud. He was setting himself up in in 2016, before the first uh, election, that he was going to be president for life, his life. Anyway, the uh, J6 panel zeroed in on the section of the Constitution that states an individual who's taken an oath to support the Constitution but violates that oath by engaging in an insurrection or giving aid or comfort to enemies of the Constitution that that bastard can be disqualified from office. This came as a result of the scum here in the South that voted for secession from the Union and brought about the so-called Civil War that that resulted in 700,000 Americans dying in order to maintain the racist, subhuman thoughts of keeping other people as slaves. Now, Trump and others have been referred by the committee to the Department of Justice for assisting or aiding in an insurrection. You know, again, I have a hard time not understanding why that's not called treason. I realize there's a clear definition of treason. It can only occur when the nation's at war. But what the hell do we call this if not war? But I digress. The J6 committee also calls on congressional committees of jurisdiction to create what they're calling a formal mechanism that they would use to evaluate whether those individuals who violate that section of the 14th Amendment should be barred from future federal or state office. And that um, that formal mechanism would be uh, um, something that I'm sure would be outside the, uh, uh, sure, be under control of the Congress, but outside of members of the Congress, it would be a, a committee set up of uh, people who understand the law because there are so many members of the U.S. Congress now, the Christian fascists, who may understand the law, but they refuse to follow it and they do everything they can to pervert it. So I think what the J6 committee is saying with that is there has to be uh, a, a committee or a group of people set up outside the reach of the uh, uh, Congress to decide whether or not a candidate for any elective office, has violated that section of the 14th Amendment that Trump just continued to stomp on. What a bastard. Uh, Also, despite the orange vomit's attempts to shift blame to Democrats for every single one of his failures, especially on January 6th, and there was a Christian terrorist rebuttal report released earlier this week that entirely glossed over the orange vomit's own role in the attack in spite of all that the select committee report is an effective conclusion to this 18 month long investigation and are you surprised of course you are not that the scum in the christian fascist collection of bastards in the u.s congress Would have not, would you be surprised had they not have issued a bullshit counter report and to try to do it as quickly as they could, either before or at the same time as this J6 committee, after 18 months of hard work, released their report. That was to give something for the sewer rats at the Fox sewer to chew on when this report came out, because you know the Fox scum will never report the truth. They're not involved in truth. They're involved in Christian fascist um, bullshit, terrorism, insurrection, poison against the United States. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me, Mike Malloy. 
24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.